New at five, decorated with meticulous sculptures, a place for beautiful shells is back. Shells define Sanibel Island, and this museum is reopening, and it's another step to normalcy following Hurricane Ian. White News reporter Haley Zarconi was there as they reopened their doors. For 17 months, the doors to the Bailey Matthews National Shell Museum have been closed and all their renovations have led up to today. As you can see, one of the only reminders left from Hurricane Ian is this watermark here showing just how high the storm surge got. Getting a feel for what keeps our ecosystem thriving. Oh no, it's harder than I expected it to be. Kind of velvety and an education on all things mollusks over here you can see so so many of the species on view are mollusks mollusks are animals that create shells and uh, we're the shell museum and aquarium nine aquariums two touch pools and dozens of species right at your fingertips in sanibel employees at the shell museum have waited for opening day since they first closed their doors after ian good to see you back in here carol i could tell you that it would get corny and it would take a long time uh -huh. How much I've missed this place is we all have. Yeah. All the islanders and non islanders. Each exhibit is a deep dive into what lives under our ocean surface. We keep this water temperature at about 50 degrees. So this is what they would experience um, in the Pacific Northwest. With experts and California sea hares who've stuck by this renovation for the love of all things shells. I'm excited and I'm just really excited to share my passion of mollusks with everybody again. If you want to save the whales, you got to save the snails. From touching shells bigger than my head to touching living creatures as small as my hand, like many other things since Ian, this museum is back and better. In Sanibel, Haley Zarconi, Wink News.